A dark chapter of Connecticut's colonial history is getting some attention now from some middle schoolers in Guilford. News 8's Kent Pierce shows us what they learned. A big crowd walked around Guilford today, all for some small stones, but what they represent is huge. They're called witness stones, and stones like them sit in front of houses in Germany that belong to Jews murdered in the Holocaust. And they talk about the person and what they did and where they lived and, and their date of birth. Sun is rising in my soul. Eighth graders from Adams Middle School are studying our own national tragedy, slavery, and they found there were slaves bought and sold right in Guilford. A whole family, in fact, mother and father, were bought by a family living where Guilford's savings bank is now. And this is where Montrose and Phyllis had their family, and today we're remembering Phyllis. Students found out Phyllis was brought here from Africa in 1728. At the home of David Naughty and his wife Ruth, Phyllis worked as a spinner and a cook. And she had eight children. The third was Candace. She was forced to serve the Parmalee family in what is now the Highland House Museum. She was freed when the Parmalees died. Candace was freed when she was 38 years old. After being freed, she washed things and made wedding cakes. Candace had a younger brother named Moses. Due to the laws and traditions at the time, because Moses was the son of the slaves Matros and Phyllis, he would also become a slave. The stone reads King, which meant Moses became a leader and mediator between the white and African American communities. He lived in a house where Town Hall is today. Today, Moses of Guilford leads his people out of obscurity. Now, if you want to look back at that part of Guilford's history, you just have to look down. Teacher Dennis Culleton wants to make the witness stones a yearly tradition. So we might have, you might have 30 stones in Guilford 10 years from now, and I think that would change the way people think of our community. So the three stones installed today are the first here in Connecticut. More to come, obviously, and more states are joining this, too. They've got sponsors in at least five others. In Guilford, I'm Ken Pierce, News 8.